Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents G.I. Joe Tuesday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the G.I. Joe Classified Series Hasbro Pulse Exclusive, PulseCon 2023 Exclusive, Chuckles. Let's get into it! Let's take a look at the packaging. And here we have on the top, nothing really. Then on the front, we have nice artwork of Chuckles and what appears to be some type of computer screen. It's got some cameras up here. It's got a speaker down here. Four and up. Tune into that. There's some dials. And stuff. Warning! Don't stick things in your pie hole that do not belong there. On the bottom here, we have parents, GIDO.com, and this symbol I'm not going to learn. Small, fine, legalese print, made in China print, some other symbols I'm not going to learn, and a barcode on this side. He's number 75, and we've got all kinds of little readouts and dials and stuff here. And there's a QR code. And if you want to scan it, I'll hold it here for a second. You can pause it if you need to. There we go. And then on this side, all kinds of inputs and analog doodads and some HDMI looking stuff and some switches and toggles and all kinds of stuff. And on the back here, we have the Extensive Enterprise, Extensive Enterprises logo, and then uh, some kind of device that Chuckles has jacked in to this machine. Includes figure and 15 accessories. Wow. Warning! Attention, Atum, don't stick things in any language pie hole that do not belong there. And don't give it to babies, especially don't stick it in your French pie hole. GIDAO.com, small print, made in China print, as per print. That, my friends, does it for this really cool looking figure. Well, actually it doesn't. Because here, you, I did cut the tape already. So it's got a little tab here, and it does open up. And then we have a little comic strip showing Chuckles getting what he needs. And then there's a nice product shot, a practical photography uh, shot, I'm pretty sure. And there's Chuckles in all of his glory getting away. That, my friends, does it for this pretty cool looking packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. And here we have handy dandy tweezers and we'll start out with the accessories. And first we will start off with this innocent looking tape recorder. This my friends is Sound Blaster from the Transformers. Molded in black plastic, it does have some nice silver paint apps for the buttons and where the cassette tape goes and on the back side of it there is still some molded detail on there and it looks very much like the original Soundwave toy back there in my opinion and then it does have a little post there and we'll get to what you do with that later and then next up we have a set of headphones and although these came in a separate little box with the sunglasses to keep them from getting warped they still warped a little bit the glasses more so than the headphone you can see how bad that is so I think a little bit of heat order to fix that so it's nice looking just regular sunglasses got some nice silver paint apps there 
nothing on the back side. And here we have a knife. And his classic pistol. A pair of binoculars and again you see the little notch right there is for storage and we'll get to that in a minute uh, I would have liked to have seen some paint apps there for the lenses maybe but I guess they're the secret agent type that don't give off a glare and then here we have a pair of handcuffs molded in silver plastic it looks like and then it does have a paint app here for the chain and then here is handcuffs with the broken where they've been broken apart so same silver plastic or gray plastic and that silver paint app for the chain And here we have the files that he's looking into. And as you can see, there's a photograph of a bat's head right there. And it's stuffed full of stuff. Look at that. So that's a pretty cool little piece there. And I can see him reusing this and just, you know, putting a different tampo or whatever on the where the photograph goes. And then here's his briefcase. You know, just pretty standard looking briefcase there on the inside. And it's got that plastic where you bend it to close it up. And it does close nicely. And you can see it's, you know, it's got a tear in it there. And it's, it's kind of scuffed up. It's old. It's got a tear in it right there. So, pretty cool little piece. Here's the extra head where he got the crap beat out of him, it looks like. Got a big old shiner there. Got a missing tooth. At least one. Maybe more than one. So, that's very cool. And I think the sunglasses will fit on both of the heads. So there that's I don't know if that makes it look any better or not <laughs> so that's a pretty rough looking head now here's my least favorite accessory of the group and it's a lay for when he goes I do wherever it is tropically that he's going and it it in my opinion it just doesn't fit the figure well and it doesn't sit right it's it's too rigid it's too floofy or thick and I just I don't I really don't care for this piece at all now let's take a look at the figure himself and here's the not beat up head and the glasses fit on it just the same just a little bit of mold line right here you can see and one of the things that I really don't like about this figure is how loose this is I don't know what they could have done to tighten it up maybe adjust it a little bit so that it pegged into his back but then that might make it stick out too far I don't know but it's loose and it just it's all over the place and you pop his head off you can get it off so he has that more undercover look I suppose and the deco on his shirt I'm assuming it's all tampos but you know I, it looks really good I think and it does it makes me think of Chuckles now, I don't think this is the exact same print like the original figure had on it it's probably not but it just it reminds me of that because I want to say his shirt was white with flowers on it the original three and three quarter figure and then he's got his communicator there with couple of paint apps on the belt and that's it 
There's a port right here. That's where Sound Blaster goes and this clip right here. That's where the binoculars go. And he's got a sheath here for his knife. He's got a nice watch here with a gold paint app on it and you can see the readout is counting down. It's got one second left. So I don't know what he's timing. Maybe it's something that's fixing to get blown up. But most everything from the waist down is molded in colored plastic of the color it's supposed to be. The boots are, the legs are, the crotch piece is, the belt is. And then it seems like all the paint is, you know, it's the shirt and the undershirt, the chest, and then, you know, the printing on the face. So, I would say this is a pretty cool looking figure. This is making me wanting to go back now and get the, the Action Force Undercover Condor. So, maybe they can hang out together or something. I don't know. I, I may I may end up getting that one now. I, I passed on it originally because I, I knew I was getting Chuckles when he came out. And, and that figure just really, really reminds me of Chuckles too. So... So, but again, now I may get it so they can be undercover together or some Miami Vice going on. I don't know. Let's take a look at his articulation. He can look up that far. He looks down that far. He's got some chicken neck. He's got some waggle. He can do the full exorcist. Butterfly joint at the shoulder. And it goes back that far and forward that far at least as far as I can get it at the shoulder he raises his arm up approximately 90 degrees there's a cut here at the upper bicep even though it's covered by his shirt and it will give you a 360 degree rotation there double hinged pinless elbow and it gives you that much bend mine's a little bit loose but not so much that it's gonna affect posing or anything but just something to look out for 360 degree rotation at the wrist on an in and out hinge and the other wrist is an up and down hinge now he does have a hinge here for the ab rather than the two separate cuts allows him to lean back that far and also he's on a ball joint there at the waist and it both of those working in conjunction he can bend back that far and forward that far he can lean left and right a little bit it's really not a whole lot and he's got a little bit of hula in there but not a whole lot and at the waist he can do a 360 degree rotation he does have the pull down hinge in the hips pull him down he gives you that much of the splits he can kick forward, not quite 90 degrees, and backwards, about three quarters of a step it looks like. Cut at the upper thigh for a 360 degree rotation. Double hinged pinned knee, so that's, I, you guys know I don't like it when they give like one of the bends, like pinless elbows and pinned knees or pinless knees and pinned elbows. I, I don't like it when they do that. I, I pick one and stick with it, damn it. So anyway, that much bend at the knee. At the mid shin, top of the boot, there is a boot cut, 360 degrees worth of it. Ankle tilts down that far. And only tilts up that far, which is hardly any at all. And forward facing pin for rocker now as far as storage of his stuff goes the stuff he actually wears on his person you know, the knife goes in the sheath here and pistol goes in the holster here The binoculars right that notch right there that's what goes in the clip back here 
and it stays okay unless you move him around some like leaning back too far or something it's gonna pop off and then here's sound blaster the post goes in this port here and it can turn this way or the other way but the binoculars get in the way and the post is long enough that even though it swings out a little bit because of this pouch it stays he stays on there pretty good so there's that now of course the glasses and the headphones he can wear those for storage but that's yeah I'm not doing that I, do, I don't really particularly like these glasses and I'm not a hundred percent sure about the headphones yet. So, but he, you can store the stuff like that. And two, he has two other accessories and I did forget those. I had them setting over here to the side and forgot to put them out with the rest of them. He does have a pair of alternate fists with brass knuckles on them and it's got a nice paint app on there no blood though and it's a fist it's nice molded details on there and there's two of those and they're both on in and out hinges so sorry about that and as far as storage of those go you can't really store those anywhere and the briefcase you can open it up files can go in there the broken and unbroken handcuffs can all go in there. And if you want to put the handcuffs on him, you just pop his hands off, slide it over his wrist, put it back on there, and let's see, nah, it's not going to close with the fists in there. So, you can do that. You can also, the, the sunglasses with all this other stuff in here, the sunglasses and headphones will both fit in here as well and then that's pretty much it you might can fit the binoculars and sound blaster in there if you wanted to and as far as this lay goes you know you just put it around over his head around his neck and you know that's that's how it sits and I just I really, really don't. I don't like it. And I guess you could spin it around the other way. See if it sits any nut. It doesn't sit any better that way either. <clears throat> I just, I really don't like this piece. But that's my opinion. You may love it. And as far as the briefcase goes, he can hold it in his hand. Just all of his fingers won't go in the handle so the, the this trigger finger just kind of move it around to the outside of the handle it makes it makes him hold it a little funny but I don't know why they didn't just put a slightly bigger handle on it uh, there you go my friends a look at chuckles and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Chuckles with his pursuers, the Cobra Crimson Strike Team, Tomax, the Baroness, and Zamot. Here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Chuckles with a couple of Action Force figures. 
the PowerCon 2023 exclusive Swarm Horde Trooper, and the Action Force Scarab Trooper. For our final set of comparisons, here we have the Hasbro PulseCon 2023 exclusive G.I. Joe Classified series Chuckles with, from the Marvel Legends series, making his cameo appearance, Stan the Man Lee. Our final G.I. Joe Classified series comparison, the Hasbro Pulse exclusive Regal variant Cobra Commander. From Star Wars The Black Series, the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper, and for a 7-inch scale comparison from the Masters of the Universe Masterverse line, the 40th Anniversary He-Man. For final thoughts on the Hasbro Pulse PulseCon 2023 exclusive G.I. Joe Classified Series Chuckles, I have to say, I like this figure a lot better than I thought I was going to, and, and that's just going by the figure. I wasn't sure at first whether or not I was going to keep my pre-order on it, because I keep thinking back to G.I. Joe the movie, when Chuckles climbs up on top of the tomahawk and manually starts the rotors which is even as a child I found ridiculous and you know that is is my main memory of chuckles as far as the, the animation goes I did have the the real American hero action figure and I really do like this one I like the fact that he, he comes with a beat up head I like all the accessories that he comes with the briefcase I like it, I just wish the handle were a little bit bigger to allow all of his fingers to go through it and, and hold on to it. That would be, that would have been great. But as far as the way the thing looks, it's split and, and, and all that. It just has that, that used and abused look to it. And I'm not going to lie, the whole time that I was doing this review I kept thinking if only his shirt were red and I could find a Magnum PI head to go on it and and by Magnum PI I mean a Tom Selleck Magnum PI head not not that new guy I, I don't know who he is but he's not Magnum PI but you know, I, I really think that that would have looked cool. And I did recently see on Instagram where somebody had actually painted the shirt red. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't know if they painted around all the designs, the tampos on the figure, if they put their own back on it. But it looks like once they got the the shirt painted red they popped a bazooka head on him and it was very magnum looking I must say but I I, I can't see doing that with this guy is you know he's not easy to really come by at this point and it's an exclusive and the price of it and I just can't justify buying two just to make a Magnum PI although I would love to have a Magnum PI but another thing they'd have to do with it is is fix his legs so that he's wearing shorts then of course we need Rick and TC so that's a whole nother thing my friends but as far as this figure goes I love all the accessories he comes with I love the, the story behind you know it and the Crimson Strike team ties in together I like all that it's really cool that they're doing that and, and I know that they call it world building and and that's fine because that's exactly what it is and I, I really enjoyed that they did that now the one drawback that I really found with this character is his his gun strap the holster and 
shoulder straps and I really wish that they would have made it where it pegged into his back so it didn't move around as much as it does but with it being loose it flip flops everywhere all the time and you you have to be super aware of that when you're trying to, to take photos with him and it, it wouldn't have taken much to really to get that done but hindsight is always 2020 my friends well that does it for the review I hope that you enjoyed it I enjoyed making it only support from viewers like you make this programming possible each view does count and I do appreciate each and every single view that I receive thank you thank you and thank you so very very much for supporting this channel through viewing comment below like share subscribe if you'd like to see more reviews or just help the channel out further or both that's even better and don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.